It's cool. I think it's bedtime. Oh god. Me, 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 me. Oh, I'm sideways. The dead have grown in number. Can I like dwindle those numbers by killing? Is that something that I am able to do? Morning, sunshine. You around? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here, Casey. What's up? I've located another flow regulator. We needed to repair the second pump, and guess what? I woke up this morning with water up to my ankles, so... Yeah, that kind of blows. Time is slipping away from me faster than I expected. Okay. That's me. What area is the regulator in? I'll track it down. The regulator is in Bywater. Blue collar parts, <sighs> warehouses, auto repair shops, small homes shoved in where possible. There's a huge lumber yard there, too. From what I heard through tower radio Ooh, chatter, a bunch of valuable machinery was discovered <coughs> in the storeroom. No specifics, though. You're gonna have to poke around. Oh, and I looked into the key you mentioned. I hate to say it, but we need it. Only way to access the final pump station. So you should keep things cool with May for the time being. Can do. What do you think of May? Well, it's hard to tell. The tower is really going after her. Spreading all kinds of unflattering words, but... I don't trust much coming from them. I don't either. I guess the verdict on May is still out for me. Uh, what about you? So far, she has held up her end of the bargain when I help her out. That's a solid sign. Yeah, and hopefully things will stay that way. And hey, I want you to know how much I appreciate what you're doing for me. Are we gonna kiss? It's nice to know someone has my back for once. <laughs> Beginning to believe I actually might survive this. There was a time when, uh, never mind. I'm trying to get the dark <coughs> thoughts out. Dark thoughts can give you the edge you need to survive. Remember that. I guess. Not a fan, though. I prefer sleep. Just hit me up when you've snagged the pump part from Bywater. I'll do my best to stay dry in the meantime. I might try to elevate my cot a few feet so I don't wake up floating. Talk to you soon, tourist. Stay safe up there. Where's the air coming from for you? Gotta go to Bywater, I guess. Before we do that, magician. Food. Mm. Food. <sighs> Medicine. Bandages. I'm not going in here half-assed this time. Absolutely not. Hey, Casey. You there? Yeah. Always here. Always thinking. My mind is always swirling with something these days. I don't know what this was about. Impossible to shut it down. Doesn't make sense to get all worked up. If you want to survive, you need to focus. Steady your mind. Yeah, well, I guess. But, you know, hey, this morning I realized something. I can't even remember the last time I saw the sky. <clears throat> it's been a while, at least that much I know. Months. Wish I would have paid more attention. You ever been to the Badlands up in South Dakota? Never been. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Like another planet. My mom used to drive me through there every summer on the way to see my uncle. The night sky was so bright. So many stars, like a dome overhead. A crystal clear view of the cosmos. That put a lot of things in perspective for me back when I really needed it. How insignificant we really are in the grand scheme of things. Now my trouble Bro, is shut the fuck up! Don't mean squat. I mean, well, what are troubles anyway, huh? The universe doesn't know the meaning of the word. <sighs> I wish I had that Badland sky apparently this, head right about now. Apparently this points my flashlight. Yeah, the first thing I'm gonna do when three is head back north. 
I think I've had enough of swamp life. I feel you, dude. One thing the universe knows is infinite chaos. What it's always been best at. The dead walking is all the proof you need. Yeah. I suppose you're right. You sound like my uncle. Sounding like your uncle is a good thing? Yeah, it is. I miss the guy. I still carry the note he wrote me when I finally graduated high school. In my pocket. Three short sentences on a folded up index card. If I make it out of here, maybe I'll show it to you. Kind of prophetic. Ah, well. Anyways, thanks for listening, tourist. I feel better. I think I'm gonna lie down. See if I can picture that badland sky up in this rusty, dripping ceiling. Steady the mind, as you say. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye I need so much wood scrap. I'm not taking anything for salvage unless I... Oh, I've got extra space, though. I've got two things now. <laughs> Nothing for wood scrap unless it gives me extra space. Or extra... Uh... Nothing in the inventory unless it gives me wood scrap or it's a weapon. Or food, I guess. Medicine. But it's gotta give me wood scrap. Guess we're going to buy water. Hmm. I don't know if it took me to buy water. I don't think it did. Bywater? I take it we're in Bywater. What are we looking for here, by the way? Find the regulator, uh, find the... Oh, there's locals? Okay. Oh, like these. Hey. Just don't worry about it. I was reading that. Oh, Figures. Floor by floor we fought. Five bloody and costly weeks to clear the entire building. By the time our climb was through and the building was secure, her numbers were reduced. To 36. 12 brave and beautiful souls. Their sacrifices were not in vain. We had our home, our tower. Word of our success spread like wildfire. Every day, more and more survivors found their way to our people, and we welcomed them with arms wide open. We had the room to grow. And we grew quickly. In those early days, we were unified. Hey. And as a result, we were prosperous. One collective mind. One collective vision. They allowed us to regain control of our lives. Wise to be wandering around. But as the population grew, yeah. dissent so. found its way into the collective and reared its ugly head at the most difficult of times. And what did we do? Did we crumble? Did we change our course? How do I know? Okay, I'm As done with this. we have from the beginning, we knew that our... If we stayed calm, so let us not us back down to the... Let us continue. We must cut loose their poisonous ma... Trust in mom. Have I... Fuck off, mama! Hey. Can I talk to either of you? No? Okay, well... I was supposed to be able to talk to locals, but apparently I can't even can't even do that. Oh, hey! What was that? Shit! Someone's close. Sorry. Don't mind me. Yo. I see you. I know you see me. Out for a stroll? Yeah, you know it. Strolling, strolling, strolling. Your boy keeps on strolling. 
Hey. You look ready to fuck someone up. Oh, fuck. Hey. That really sucks to be you. Maybe I could have helped, maybe I couldn't. Cannery. Hold on. Something over here is glowing red. Or lit up red. Oh. Hey. Can I go in here? You don't mind, do you? Oh, well, there's jack shit, so. I don't know why you're guarding that. That's a weird choice. It's a really strange choice to make. Um, hold on, let's make sure we're still recording. Audio. Yep. <clears throat> yes, we are. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, you might be able to help me out. Hey, hey, excuse me. If you happen to be by the auto shop, can you check and see if my boyfriend is still in the area? Yeah, I got you. His name's Devon. Been waiting to hear from him, oh, but it's fuck. been a week. I'm stuck here on guard duty till who the fuck knows. I'm sure he's okay, but still, making me nervous. He stays in touch every couple days. Devon, auto shop. Got it. Thanks so much. Missing. Gotcha. I will absolutely not make it back in time. But I was already over there once. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Don't hang around too long. I bet Devon's the dude in the, the armor. He looked real important. Yo. Who's there? I'm looking for Devon. Scanning the area. <sighs> Nothing better to do. What helps you give me a description? Outside the repair shots. Give me mm. just a minute, please. We have to keep our voices down. I'm in a box. Piece of shit. Good job. We have to keep our voices down. I'm in a bind, and I need a third party to set some wheels in motion. Someone unaligned. Nothing. You've got my attention. Come Meet on. Meet me on the opposite side of this build. God fucking. We are running out of time here. The bell is going to ring soon. We're there. You best hurry up. I like your jacket though. Sure we're out of earshot. I'll go over everything. What? You made it. And I was happy then. Really. But I got a tendency to get mouthy. And there, my boyfriend warned me. But I didn't listen. I thought I could get through to these people. But they kicked my ass out. Hmm. I connected with the reclaimed. But I don't belong with them. Fuck with the tower. I belong with Justin. He and I. We need to put all this tower and rec We need to make our own. What do you Seems need? Seems like you know what you need to do. I need to reconnect with Justin. I've written Justin a letter. You play poster worker. Time is working against us. I'm afraid one of us might tower and reclaim. Don't exactly. You can I know, I know, letter. okay. If the guy who runs my patrol, that's it for me. Walk just in the station with the time I know. yard just to, he might accidentally kill each other. Don't worry. I'll I ain't a charity case. Here's what I have to offer. It's warehouse next to this auto shop we're posted up in. Place is infested with walkers at the loading dock entrance, but there is a way in on the side. Oh, okay, From there, hold on. you can slip right on past the fuckers without much trouble. I stashed the key to the side door somewhere safe. I'll have it when you return. Here's the letter. Gotcha. Meet me back here after the letter's been delivered. I'm sure, but I still love. I got you, buddy. Nothing better to do. Pretty much just gonna go straight this way. Who are you? What you want? Nothing. Oh. 
I ain't no snitch. That's the key that I need. Hey, you wanna deal with this, please? Hey, behind you. Good job. Think I give a fuck about what you think? We are running out of time, and these two are lovers and need to get out of here. Hey. Were you able to speak to Devon? Did he give you anything for me? Devon asked me to deliver this letter to you. Oh, fuck. Much appreciated. Okay, what you have to say. Here, please deliver my response to Devon. And... Hi, Devon. Well, ah, First off, I miss you. Second, I know what's I believe going on in us. Here. If we die, we die right together. The right to help I'll another couple of oak, people. I will Devon be there. I his, promise. Justin doesn't deserve You're right. Through a lot fuck of these fools. Fuck. I don't want Our anything is now. horrible to happen to Love him. you to the moon. They need a clear... No more Justin. contact. I'm sure Justin gave you a... That's how they've been staying in touch. It will end things between them. Fuck off. Not the best time for me right now. I ain't lying to nobody. Y'all can make your choices. You are grown ass adults. If you die because of love, that's on you. What you want? Nothing. <coughs> I've been around too long. Sorry, I'm just I'm fucking dying over here. <laughs> that didn't sound like you'd like that too much. There, I played your fucking lackey. Give me the key so I can get in, get the shit I need, and get the fuck out. You made it back. God, I hope nobody saw you. Did Justin send a reply? Here it is. He was glad to hear from you. Thank you so much. This letter made my here. Hell, it made my life. Justin and I, we're gonna do this. We're really gonna do this. You made a difference today, stranger. I owe you. Here's that key I promised. Hopefully gonna make your life a whole hell of a lot easier. I hope so. <coughs> hey, uh... These things just keep coming! <sighs> you got it? Thank you. Cool. Uh, see ya. <laughs>